Hey Money Chatters, Trilce Giron Garro here, your favorite Latina instructor with yet another incredible tip for your Money Chat bots. So imagine you've built this incredible, fascinating, world-class series, Instagram automation. You spent hours on it, it's going to give you amazing results. And oh no, oh no, you just realized that one of your buttons is misspelled. It says click her instead of click here. We don't want that. Or maybe some of your URLs across the entire bot are wrong and now you have to change them. So, oh my God, what do we do? Enter a little bit of high tech wizardry in the form of user fields. In this video, I'll show you how to avoid that kind of catastrophic headache with my favorite tip on how to save time. So let's get into it. So we're going to go into our really good friend, the settings button. So you're going to click right here in the cog. You're going to find the automation section and your best friend from here on out, it's going to be the field section. And you're going to select bot fields. These are variables like your X and Y in a formula that stay constant no matter the user. So we're going to create a click here button from bot fields. And I'll show you why in a little bit. You're going to select the blue button that says new bot field. This is going to give you this prompt to create a new bot field. The name for this bot field is going to be button click and its type is going to be text. As you can see, we have added that the value for this bot field, it's going to be the text click here and you can even add emojis to it. So as you can see, this is going to be the value or the text that is going to show whenever we apply the bot field button click. So let's use this in a flow. Okay. First of all, let's create this bot field. Immediately, you're going to go into your flow section and create the flows you want to start working on. We have opened our Father's Day gear guide. And as you can see right here, it has a lot of buttons, so many buttons. You're going to see that all of them say buy now. So what would have happened if we wrote a typo on these? Or maybe your client or yourself decide that this one shouldn't say buy now anymore because it's a little bit too aggressive. So instead of having to change all of the buttons, what you can do is create the bot field that we did before. So now, as you can see, when we click here, our buttons actually say by now written, but the cool trick is that they can be a bot field. So if we click on this little icon right here and we search for our click button, button click. So, here we have a bot field as a value for the name of this button. So now instead of showing by now, it is going to show whatever value we put into button click. And the cool part is you can actually copy paste this value and apply it to the other button. So I just copy pasted that one. And here I'm going to click by now, delete, and paste. And now, as you can see, all of my buttons are starting to be a bot field instead of text. This means that whenever I want to change the value of this text, I can do it. So now just by applying this, whenever I decide that I want to change the text for this button, I can just do it super quickly. So let's decide now, is it going to say by now? Is it going to be click here? Is it going to be let's go? Whatever you want this button to say. Now, instead of having to change the button one by one, all we have to do is go back to settings, go back to fields, bot fields are best friends. And we're going to change this one into buy here. And just like that, by using the power of bot fields instead of text in your buttons, you can change the text in your buttons for every single button by just changing the bot field. Isn't that nifty? Okay, so that's that. And like in a lot of projects, building Instagram automations with a little bit of forethought can save you lots of trouble later. I love using this trick for texts in buttons in flows in emails because that way let's say you have a price across different flows and different messages all you have to do is go into your bot fields and change the value so 
I'm going to show you the last trick that I absolutely love with bot fields that you can start using right now. As you can see, I have created another bot field called button URL. So now, if we go back into our flow, you're going to notice how I have deleted one of the buy buttons and changed it into a normal website button. And we select this button, you're going to see that I not only added the button title to be the bot field we created, but I also selected the website address to be that button URL variable, which means that if at any time we need to change the link for any of our flows, we can just do it via the variable. Keep in mind that this is not going to change the buttons of all the previously sent flows. It's only going to work for the ones we send from here on out. So that was it with our dynamic buttons. Remember that if you're in need of any Instagram automation inspiration, you can join our ManyChat community on Facebook and check out some of the ManyChat blogs so you can get brilliant ideas for your businesses. Thank you and have a great day.